more prepared for that now than you were last year? Yeah. Uh, coaches have emphasized it that I have to get downhill and get to the basket. And even Karis encourages me to be aggressive and when I'm out there. I'm I mean, how many times did they call you? I mean, it seemed they called your number quite a bit. Uh, a little bit uh, more so than other games, but uh, I was ready. How does that go? Is that in a timeout or halftime behind says something to you or before the game? I mean, at what point do you find out that it's it's your night and they're going to be dialing it up for you? Uh, usually in, during the game, uh, during timeouts, and seeing if you're going or if you're hitting or not. And then if you're usually hot, then they'll start dialing up plays for you. Talk about Aubrey and his threes, obviously, are pretty key for you guys tonight. He is big. Uh, like I said, not everybody was hitting shots, but for him to come in off the bench and hit those threes is big for us. Could you kind of sense that they were trying to take that aspect of your game away, the three-pointers? Yeah, I think a lot of people try to take away our threes. The aggression, especially down the stretch, you know, with five minutes to go, game's close, and uh, you started going to the basket. You got that one where you where you missed the shot and you followed it up. Did you kind of see that coming, that they weren't going after those rebounds? or? Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't expect us, uh, the guards, to rebound. So uh, I can always sneak in there and get one or two. And I knew that he blocked my shot and that it was going to hit the front of the rim. And I knew I could sneak in there and get it. You say once you get going that they'll start dialing some plays up for you. Do you ever go and say, you know, get me the ball? No, no, that's not me. I'm more of a team player. Uh, if I'm high and they want me to score, then I'll do that. But I don't go and ask the game any plays. We talked about this before, but then when Zach and and uh, and Derek aren't on, do you kind of sense that, or is that something that you kind of have to be told? You know, now you can step in until uh, that point. You kind of sense that. Uh, you can obviously see that they're not making shots or anything like that. So you know, you have to step up and try to change the game as best you can. Is there a, a mindset difference after the runs? You know, Michigan State and Indiana went on. You know, they were threatening tonight on a little 8-0 run in the first half and in, in the second. Is there a mindset difference? difference for you when, when you just need a bucket? Uh, not really. Uh, I just play within the flow of the offense, but we've been there before. Uh, been down a couple of points, and we just wanted to weather the storm correctly. So.